Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is the conclusion of our little exercise with the search and sort algorithms and in this video we will put it all together we will create a binary search. We already have a sorting which is, uh, remember, we need a sorted uh, array or list in order to perform binary search. Now binary search basically works, we have a list of unsorted numbers and it splits, splits it in half. So it comes over here, uh, it, since it's 20 element, 20 divided by 2 is 10, so it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it comes over here and splits it in half and uh, asks, alright, I'm looking for number 26. Is this the number? No, this number is 4. Alright, is this, but you have to imagine that this is actually already sorted. Alright, so otherwise it wouldn't work so but it would ask the same like okay so if this is 4 4 is less than 26 then that means that 26 has to be in the in this half now if it comes for example here then all right 26 is less than 100 so it has to be in this half and then it would cut that in half and ask all right is this number less than 26 or more than 26 and it would go left or right and cut that in half. So basically it just uh, splits everything in half. And even though it looks kind of strange, that's actually quite fast a way to uh, get those, uh, perform the search. So, uh, but as an algorithm, um, well, we need to know where the, uh, uh, what the number of uh, total elements is which is the maximum, basically our maximum point. So I call it max point. At the beginning, it will be number of elements, which is 20. And our minimum point, or our min point, I'll call it, uh, that's going to be zero. That's the beginning of the list. And this will be changing. When I cut it in half, our max point will be now only half of it. It will be the first, uh, or it will remain the, uh, the, the end of it, if we if we are moving to the right if we are moving to the left then this is our new max point all right so uh, and we can do uh, I'll just do for a change I'll do a do while loop uh, and we will loop until our min point is less or equal to max point if this is not true anymore in other words that means that it basically will mean that we didn't find anything because we already cut everything in half and there's nowhere else to go so uh, if this condition is not true basically it means the number is not there now in the do we will simply create a midpoint that's where we will be cutting in half uh, the, the whole list and uh, the midpoint basically how do you find out uh, where it where it is uh, well at the beginning it's simply max point minus the min point divided by two so basically we'll make 20 minus zero at this uh, the beginning it's still a 20 divided by two it will give you 10 and I'll leave it for now but it's not ex exactly how it works and I'll show you later why not so uh, just like before we did the uh, we need to keep the count of how many steps it takes to find the the numbers so we will increase our counter here and we will now ask if our numbers if the midpoint which is we just cut it in half equals the search value we just found it so then just return and it will all, all we need, all we take care, you know, care for is the counter, so we don't need to do any anything else. However, it is if it is not, then find out if the numbers of the midpoint uh, is uh, let's say less than the searched value. And of course else that means that the number of midpoint is greater than search value so what happens if it's uh, the midpoint is less than the search value well you have to 
change the min minimum point, the starting point, this now will, will simply equal to the midpoint. In other words, if it is less, uh, you cut it in 10, I mean, uh, at the beginning it would be 10, so let's say uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so this is the number 10, and it will ask uh, which one is, which way to go left or right, and based on that, this would become your new maximum point, uh, that in other words it would start uh, from beginning to up here, or it would become your new minimum point, in other words it would be your starting point and you would work on from here to the to right. But we can do it slightly better, you already know that this is not the number you're looking for because that's the first condition, if the number is equal to it. So you can move it to the one number to the left or one number to the right depending on whether it's uh, less or, or greater than the midpoint. So uh, in this case, so we c our new starting point will equal to the midpoint plus one. And in this case, if it's uh, if the number uh, the is uh, greater than the searched value, then our maximum point will be changed to the new midpoint minus one. They will be moving to the left. Okay, so. Um, yeah, this is it. Uh, this is, like I said, this is not how it actually is going to work. And I'll show you the results of that. But before, let me just uh, put it all together. So I already have uh, the element 1. So let's just create the variable element 2. And it's the same thing. I'm just going to copy paste this. Uh, so it equals to the new search count. And I will create element 3 and that's equal to the search count so remember element 2 is bubble sort and binary search element 3 is selection and uh, binary search so I have the array of the object I already have element 1 in it so I'll just add the element 2 and element 3 to it and uh, this, this stays the same, uh, this is just how to read the file, except over here I will populate the, the numbers array for all for all three elements objects. So element 2, you know what, let me just copy paste that again because it's going to be the same thing. So element 2 and element 3. So now each of them has its own uh, array. Uh, they're identical at the beginning, but the element 2 and element 3 need to sort them before they can use the binary search. So our element 2, the first thing it needs to do is the bubble search. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, bubble sort, and then we can do the binary search. Binary search like that. Come on. Uh, and we will pass the searched value, which in this case is 26. And we will do the same with the element 3, except element 3 is, is using the selection sort, uh, selection sort and, but it also uses the uh, binary search and searched value. So um, now we can output the how many about the counter holds for each of these, how many steps it took. I'll delete this one uh, because I'm gonna do it in a, uh, I'll put them all at the same time. I'll do a simple loop, i equals zero, i is less than three, that's three elements in the array, and uh, i plus plus. Remember we have an array called results that holds the objects, element one, two, and three. And here I will do console dot right line and uh, I can do something like, uh, I don't know, uh, element and a placeholder counter equals and one as a placeholder. So um, the element is basically element number one, two, and three. So element I, uh, 
is the first placeholder and the counter will be the result of i dot counter which corresponds with the counter for each of the objects they all, all, all have their own value in their own counter so if I run it now let's see what, uh, what it's gonna do how many steps it took for each of them and uh, it's not taking any steps I mean because it gets stuck right here like I said this is not the correct uh, way because if you think about it you're cutting it in half uh, but you also need to know <laughs> you also have to add to it the min point uh, it deleted it you calculate the, the half of it but you add the mid min point to it the the starting point as well otherwise uh, it, it would work for the first iteration because uh, you have uh, simply 20 divided by 2 uh, and it may work depending on the number uh, the second one but eventually it would it would blow up just like it did because uh, you need to add to the, the starting point as well so if I go and do it now you can see that the element well it's supposed to be element 1 to a 3 but it took 16 steps five, uh, 5 steps was for the uh, for the bubble sword and uh, uh, what, which one was first I forgot and uh, let me see so bubble sword and binary search and the selection sword and uh, binary search but it's supposed to be I plus one here otherwise it would just element zero element one and element uh, two since it starts from uh, from zero base so um, let me run it again and now you see element 1 counter equals 16 element 2 5 and element 3 had the fastest which was only four steps but remember element 2 and 3 had to be actually sorted first it wasn't just a search but once they're sorted it's actually quite fast and uh, yeah this is about all there is to it and uh, but let me let me delete this again and I'm gonna put a, a breakpoint added so when I run it I w just wanted to show you wh what it does so the first run as expected midpoint equals 10 20 minus uh, 0 is 20 divided by 2 it equals 10 so I'll run through the whole thing it comes again now midpoint equals four, which is fine. Uh, that's still a, still a valid value. And now it two and three. See, it's going up and down. It's a it's a it just keeps looping and not finding the number. That would have to be uh, it would have to add some condition. Uh, this is basically and uh, as you can see, two and three switching. So it's an infinite loop now because it goes back and forth uh, because there is nothing, uh, there is no uh, kind of like a maintenance you know, that's like a, it doesn't know, it doesn't move properly on, uh, so uh, that's, that's why you need to have the starting point included to it. So again, if I run it now, actually, you know what, let me run it with the, with the breakpoint again, just so you can see the difference. And if I run it, so 11 midpoint is 10, just like it was at the beginning. Now midpoint is 4, just like it was. And now it's 7, because it, it, it keeps going uh, the other direction. Now 5, now 6, and it found the number midpoint when it was 6 in the sorted list. Uh, if you can test it yourself, if you sort the list, uh, you can see if those uh, values that the search count, uh, the counter came up with, if they're correct. And uh, well, I did it, and they actually are correct. So uh, 
it found the number it returns so it's not an infinite, infinite loop like it was before okay so uh, yeah this is a uh, this is the exercise a little algorithms a little object oriented programming not much obviously but uh, yeah this is what you get I guess and uh, I hope you liked it I hope you learned something so leave a like leave a comment or share with your friends and I will see you in the next video take care